This is a CPU known as the brain of a computer. Minecraft is a surprisingly CPU heavy game and my CPU is almost $500 for Minecraft. For, 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 for Minecraft! So that got me wondering, what if you only had $8 to spend on a CPU? For reference, this Sharpie costed me $10. I think I got scammed. Can I even buy a CPU for $8? If I did, would I get scammed? Would it even work? Wait, 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 I'm actually doing that? Wait, wait. Ah, my first challenge. Actually buying a CPU for $8. Let's buy the cheapest CPU I can find. <laughs> Okay, we gotta buy the CPU quick because my battery, my laptop is running out of battery. And of course, we're gonna use my favorite site, eBay. Price, minimum zero, maximum 10. Okay, we got one for seven pounds 99, Intel Xeon. I don't know what that means. Quad core, that's actually good. Three gigahertz. Oh, it's got a video with it. What on earth is refurbished on eBay? Oh, okay, no, I don't care. <laughs> Unfortunately though, this CPU was over our budget, so we had to move on. I spent 35 minutes looking for a singular CPU under $8, so I decided to go for this $9 one. You know what, I'm just gonna go with, I'm gonna go with this one. Seven pounds 50. I know what you're thinking. That's a $9 CPU, not an $8 CPU. Trust me, bro. <laughs> this video isn't clickbait. Let's, let's do it, okay. If I get scammed, it's only seven pounds. <laughs> Thanks for shopping with us. You're welcome, eBay. All right, I gotta wait three days. Cool beans. Despite it being not $8, I bought it anyway. I'm gonna sit here for three days straight. And then it arrived. The packaging was so weird. Here it is. I just knew that I was gonna get scammed. Here goes nothing. It was time to find out if there was an actual working CPU inside. What the hell? That's when I saw it. Oh, oh shoot, there it is. Literally, literally a $9 CPU. That is crazy. Oh, oh shoot. I hope it doesn't fall out. <laughs> Imagine. We have our CPU, but first of all, we're gonna inspect this for damages. Make sure it's not broken. Oh my gosh. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna try not to tip it out. I don't see any damages. I don't see any burn marks or anything. There's like gloop on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Goal four, find out if the CPU works. Which takes us to the next part of this video, which is... I'm not faking this. This is really heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> like your mom. <laughs> Sorry. We need a PC for this CPU. This is the computer that we will be using. The only problem being, it's already built. We're gonna take this entire computer apart. <laughs> That's what we're doing. I might break this computer. First off, we need to get rid of the GPU. I'll be right back. I need to grab a screwdriver. And off I went. Beep, 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 boop. Screwdriver. Beep, 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 beep. Oh god, no, 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 come back! I just found out I can do it with my hands and it, I didn't need a screwdriver. Oh god, for some reason it will not come out. Oh my god, oh, the graphics card is removed. Time to put the new CPU in. Oh wait, I'm supposed to unplug it. Okay, I think I'm doing it. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. Hey, let's go. CPU cooler removed. Yeah. Oh, that's really close. I'm sorry about that angle. That's our current CPU and here's our new one. I, from memory, this is actually really simple, but if you mess up, it's... It, <laughs> oh my God. Lift it slowly. Oh, oh my God. And in with the new. If you look closely, there are tons of tiny pins. If I break anything here, this entire video ends. Uh, ooh. Oh god, I'm so shaky. I did it! I did it! Oh my god, yes! Putting this cooler back on was impossible. It is time to put the case back on. And then we're gonna find out if, um, if we did this right. I really hope this computer works. <laughs> We're gonna hook this computer to a monitor. It's a very cheap monitor. It was time to build a gaming setup. What could go wrong? Absolutely every- oh my- This is like one of the first keyboards I ever bought. Yeah. Um... That's our cable management. We just have to plug in this mouse. This might be the worst computer setup I've ever built. It is time to turn the computer on. <laughs> um, <laughs> bam. <laughs> it just immediately turned off. Oh no. What about now? Ah! I then realized why. Oh no. Intel Xeon CPUs have been permanently disabled on this specific computer motherboard. 
According, according to this guy, he says it doesn't work. Oh my god. The CPU, it just turns off. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm gonna go panic mode right now. Here's the plan. Here's the game plan. I'm gonna buy the cheapest CPU I can find just off my phone right now. Okay, I found I found something. An Intel Pentium G4400. <laughs> Alright, I can't believe I had to buy another CPU. But on the flip side, this one was only $7. Okay, okay. I, <laughs> I think the CPU just arrived. Oh. Oh my! It came in even less wrapping. Oh wow. Oh. Oh wow. A Pentium G4400. I have never heard of this before. We're gonna go find out if the computer works. Um, I'm gonna build it again. <laughs> I really don't want to have to get another CPU. And off I went to build a computer again. Hopefully this CPU works. I have no idea. If this gaming PC works with a $5 CPU, I will buy a MacBook. I don't- Let's find out if this computer works. Oh my god. I'm actually terrified. Three, two, one. Oh no. Oh no. Not again. Oh, oh, oh! What is going on, dude? Intel Pentium G4400. I couldn't believe it. It thought my mouse was a keyboard, but I couldn't believe it. It was working. Is it working or not? Am I getting trolled? No, wait! Oh my god! What? It says cleaning up. <laughs> it actually booted. Oh, oh. Oh, so our CPU usage was just then at like 100, but actually it's not bad. So for $5, 2% CPU utilization, 3.3 gigahertz CPU, we only have two cores. Chrome. Okay. Okay, not bad. Oh, the site, the site just froze. The site just froze. Hey, Mr. B. It can run YouTube. 8K video. Oh. Oh, my screen just went green. Did you see that? I tried running 4K. Oh boy. It did it. It did it somehow. It did not run 8K. I cannot tell a difference between this $8 CPU and the CPU inside my $2,000 PC. I am, I am mind blown. That's great. But what about Minecraft? It's working great. General use, this computer is great, but what about Minecraft? Can it run arguably one of the simplest games? We're gonna boot the latest version. Oh, just downloading Minecraft, our CPU is at 50%. That might not be a good sign. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, we're gonna boot the game, I guess. <laughs> the latest version as of today. All right, okay, okay, okay. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, five, 10, 11, 12, no way, 12 seconds. I have hope. Hope is restored. Let's go ahead and join this world. Let's see how how many frames we're getting. Okay, I'm loading the world. Oh my god. 60 FPS. Please. Please. I'm guessing it might be slightly laggy. Come on, please. Okay. Oh no! Oh my! Oh, hello Steve. Oh, oh, no, hello legs. <laughs> okay, how do I get off this screen? Oh my, oh, hello, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Set that to two real quick. Oh, it's it's still terrible. 40 frames. 14, never mind. <laughs> it does not like me loading things in. It really doesn't. I've loaded this world in for like a whole minute and we're still getting five FPS. I was very disappointed. Can't even move. It was just too laggy, but I had one idea. I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna save the world and we're gonna try out Luna Client. Did Luna Client just make Minecraft run loading terrain? Okay, that's always the first step. Oh no. <laughs> All right, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Holy cow. Oh my God, we're getting 500 frames. No. Okay, it is still very laggy feeling, but oh my, yep, okay, there it is. This is so much better. 1,000. 
Yo! Our frames are really good until I basically start loading chunks in as as you can see it just so minecraft java is notorious for having bad optimization but bedrock on the other hand people have told me that you can run anything on minecraft bedrock and i mean anything but will bedrock still run smoothly on a seven dollar cpu i think it's crashed this is taking oh oh never mind oh oh my god bedrock can run on anything no way what two chunks are lagging a little bit there's something going on over there i'm not quite sure what but the game wasn't even lagging i could not believe how well this seven dollar cpu was running minecraft 32 render distance what and we're getting a steady 60 fps how? Using the CPU is actually a no-brainer. Like, that's a financial investment right there. <laughs> we got the $5 CPU working. Just isn't this beautiful? Like, isn't that just amazing? You don't always need what you think you need. Sometimes you just gotta be happy with what you have. And also, you know how I said I was gonna get a MacBook Pro if this computer worked? Um... <laughs> Check out that video when it comes out.